all right how's it going guys so cringe <laughs> so i was just on twitter earlier whenever i saw a lot of uh, tweets about quibble cop and i thought it'd be an interesting thing to talk about so for those of you who don't know quibble cop was like a really really big gaming youtuber a few years ago but he really fell off i mean he's a fraction of what he used to be like he used to be one of the biggest gaming youtubers on all of youtube and nowadays you know some people don't even know who he is and you never hear him anymore but the reason i saw him on twitter was because in his newest video it was entirely made by ai so basically, what I think happened was he cloned his voice in AI, and then also made some sort of AI-generated, like, 3D model of himself. Basically, make videos for him. I'm pretty sure he also does this for another channel that's not, like, Quebble Cop, but it's, like, a channel that, like, he runs. Uh, like, another gaming channel that does a very similar thing to this. So, this is what it looks like. My resistance. Now, hopefully, if I go into the lava, I will die. Let's try it out. Nice. And, you know, I think this video really kind of raises a lot of questions for, like, YouTube as a platform and how it's gonna be moving forward with, like, AI technology and stuff like that. So, the first thing that this video makes me think is, like, why are you even making videos at that point? Because there's no soul in them, you're doing the least amount of effort possible to get the video out, and you're not even doing it for very many views. Like, if you don't like f the process of filming the video, then why are you even being a YouTuber? YouTuber. Like, Quebble Cop has already made millions of millions of dollars. He, again, he was one of the biggest gaming YouTubers of all time. He's set for life. His kids are set for life. Maybe even his kids' kids are set for life if he's good with his money. So he doesn't need to be a YouTuber at this point. Another thing that this makes me think is, like, whenever you watch this, there's no soul. There's no personality. Everything's made by AI, so there's no, like, human aspect to it. And to Quebble Cop's audience, which is, like, eight-year-olds, at the oldest, I would still feel like they would watch this and just feel weird about it, like, look at it. It just doesn't look right, and, like, watching it just kind of makes you feel, I don't know how to describe it, just, like, off. It doesn't feel like a YouTube video because it's com it's just completely generated. Like his like I don't see his small audience that he still has sticking around whenever he's not even in the videos anymore. It's a generated version of him. Like at that point, why are you making videos? Like the whole kind of enjoyment of making YouTube videos comes from that like they're your videos like your personality bleeds into your videos even if the content has nothing to do with your personality the way you talk and the way you make that content does but whenever you make it with ai it completely eliminates that so at that point why are you even making videos it doesn't even seem that fun too the fun of making a video is making the video but whenever you have ai do it for you you're not even doing that i don't think it will but i think there is kind of a possibility that this catches on and if it does i think that's a really bad thing for youtube because there's already like shorts channels that are completely ai generated that are ai voiced and takes clips and it puts them together to try to make it as human as possible and those make thousands of dollars those get so many views you've probably watched shorts or even tiktoks that are re-uploaded that you didn't even realize were ai and obviously the reason that people make these tiktoks and these youtube shorts is because they basically take nothing to make and they get so many views and make so much money and while that's mostly contained in like short form content i feel like with a, you know one of the biggest of all time gaming youtubers starting to implement this i really hope that it doesn't kind of encourage smaller youtubers to start following in his footsteps and start doing stuff like this like i don't know about you but the reason i watch a lot of the youtubers that i do is because of their personality or or the interesting quirks about them or the games that they play i think another thing a lot of people don't realize is you don't have to be a youtuber like there's other awesome jobs that you can be there's other different things in social media that you could be that are just as cool and just as fun to do you don't youtube is not the only job to work like if you don't enjoy the process of making a video so much to literally get an ai to do it for you then maybe you just don't need to be a YouTuber, and that's fine. There's other just as cool jobs that you could be. Now, one thing I think that's gonna come of this is Quibble Cop is gonna see that this video does really well because there's gonna be a lot of people who end up talking about it, and then once everybody has said what they said about it and they stop watching the video, eventually his audience is gonna get weirded out because, like, look at it. They're gonna get weirded out and stop watching the videos too, and he's gonna fall off even more. And, I mean, Quibble Cop's not stupid. Like, he was really good 
good at manipulating the algorithm and making videos that were entertaining, but also really good for the algorithm. And I never really got into Quebble Cop or watched his content that much, but I know this because a few years ago he was all over my Explore page. I'm pretty sure he even made like a gaming group with a few other gaming YouTubers, which eventually ended. But the reason I'm saying all this is because again, Quebble Cop's not stupid. He knows that this isn't going to resonate with audiences. So the only reason I could see that he's doing this is to get this kind of like small explosion or whatever, have this video do good because it's like sho a shock value type thing. So I don't really think that this is going to be the future of YouTube, at least in the stage that AI is now. But I really hope that this doesn't inspire people to start making more and more videos with AI because I feel like that would be such a negative thing for YouTube. And there's already so many people that just do YouTube to make money. And this AI stuff is really only making it easier for people to basically generate their own videos. And that's got to be another reason why Quebble Cop is doing this. Because yeah, maybe these AI videos won't be doing good in the long run, but they'll probably still be making some amount of views, which I guess Quebble Cop just sees that as some amount of money, which really sucks because it feels like back in the day, even just a few years ago, like 2019, 2018, all these YouTubers were just doing it because it was something fun to do and because they genuinely liked doing it. And I feel like a lot of YouTubers are starting to get lazier with their content. And this is just kind of an example of where we could be headed. Like this is literally as lazy as it gets.